Hello guys, welcome to a modding tutorial that I'm actually making on Trove, mainly because all of the modding tutorials that I've seen on YouTube currently are outdated. And what I want to do is just show you a, a bit of the modding program, just, you know, how easy it is to actually use and stuff compared to the old one that was up here. Now, obviously I will put this link in the description, and as you can see here, there are actually two downloads. This one, the Trove Mod Manager, you don't need. I couldn't really get it to work or anything, so just focus on the TroveTools.net. So obviously what you want to do is you want to download TroveTools.net. Once you've downloaded that, obviously open the program. I already have it open. And it should um, get your location path automatically. Now if it doesn't, don't worry. You can obviously just add location, all that. All this you do not need to worry about. I really don't know, like what it all does and stuff and now what you want to do is go to my mods and I have a mod folder you can't see it it's on my other monitor but if you have other mods obviously just click add mods and go to the like where you have your mods and just put them in <coughs> sorry about that <laughs> and now once you do that pretty much that's like all you can make sure it's up to date all that update all refresh it just you know do all that and yeah once you actually have them in it'll put it in like this it'll have a checkbox and that's um signifying that it's enabled and that's pretty much it you can open the game now and it'll actually be there you don't have to like like press a thing and you know manually install it like the other one that i was using and what you can do is get more mods and as you can see, unlike the other one, at least the one that I was using, I don't know how many people were using the same one. It was just Trove Toolbox, not all this. There's actually a picture, unlike the other one, there's a picture showing you all the stuff, like what you're going to get, like what it looks like before you actually download it. And if you hover over the image, it actually enlarges it so you can see it better. And if you want to, you can actually click on this. I'll click on the Night Fury. And it'll actually bring you to the mod itself. And usually it tells you what it replaces. This one says working on it. And yeah, it'll just tell you. So this one doesn't look like it's been updated that much. 11 months ago, that's weird. <coughs> oh, sorry, I don't know why I have to cough so much. But... <clears throat> It also tells you types, how many downloads, views, status, obviously work in progress, accepted, completed. So usually try to look for the completed ones. You can actually search, which is really good. I don't think the other one that I was using had this function. So let's just go to a random ally and all subtypes and just type, you know, Bob. And it, the only one that comes up is the bob bomb, which I have. This is the only one I could think of top on the top of my head. So yeah. <laughs> so once you um, if like if you want it, just click on install. This one's already installed, so obviously I can't do it again. And then it will appear in um your mods, and pretty much that's it. Once you have it, you just start the game up, and it should be there. I mean, it's just as easy as that and it's really convenient a lot more convenient convenient than the other one i was using <clears throat> so if this helped please like comment and subscribe not really <laughs> but if you like the video likes would be appreciated as it does help the channel and um puts this video in searches which i want all the searches given to me <laughs> So yeah, that's going to be this, so see you later and goodbye.